right, Jason Rona back here with J Concepts. We're at Bubba's Motorsport Park here in Ocala, Florida. We're here with Darren Schnell, driver of Bigfoot. We got a brand new J Concepts release here for you. We got the Bigfoot 19 racer stripe body. And uh, Darren, you're here. You got the real truck here. That's kind of why we came out. It was a good opportunity to show you this brand new RC truck we got. And uh, talk to us a little bit first about seeing the uh, the RC version that we brought out for you, and then uh, the big truck. The RC version looks awesome. I want to take that out on that track and play with it, because I think it's a little easier to work on than the big version. You guys did a great job. Everything is scaled down to, I mean, the tires we were talking about. Everything is absolutely perfect on this body. And it's unfortunate, because now I need to have one of these. Yep. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what this whole thing is about. You know, I mean, the reason I got into RC at the beginning is I wanted the real Bigfoot and the RC version is the one we can get, right? The RC version is the one everyone can play with, but I get to play with the big one. I want to play with the small one now. So what we did with this body is, uh, you know, we spent some time. We knew you were going to be here. What we wanted to do was get out where we could uh, design up this decal sheet. You know, we got of course plenty of photos of the real truck so what we did is we were able to scale them down uh, with the help of the guys at Bigfoot and uh, back at J Concepts we were able to get the logos we were able to get the stripes and start working on laying this thing out uh, you know obviously you guys got a lot of sponsors that you display on the truck it's important to have that as part of the licensing uh, project here and, and that represents Bigfoot appropriately but uh, talk to us a little bit about Besides the RC, talk to us about uh, Bigfoot 19 here, which has kind of been your baby for a while now. Well, Bigfoot number 19 is kind of the oddball of Bigfoot fleet. It's got the Chevy engine, which a lot of the purists absolutely hate. I've gone, grown very accustomed to it, and I've, I'm almost to the point where I like it. It's a different power curve than a Ford. Um, it handles a lot differently. You have to drive this truck a lot differently than all the other Bigfoot trucks. That being said, it's still got the ZF axles. It still has our shock package. So there's a lot of similarities between this truck and the trucks I've driven before. So it's uh, it's different, but I've kind of become accustomed to this one and she's kind of my baby. So, you know, you've ran different bodies throughout the years. Um, a few years back, you mentioned you won a championship running the racer stripe body. And uh, talk to us about running you know, the Raptor style, the trophy truck style body, and then the racer stripe scheme, and then the championship that you won when you started with it. Well, the racer stripe scheme is my personal favorite. It's the scheme that was on the truck when I was seven, eight, nine years old, you know, in the early 90s. So I've always liked this scheme. It's not been the most favorite of all the Bigfoot drivers because it was kind of one of the first non-blue Bigfoots. So, you kind of have both sides there. I personally love this. This is my childhood right here. And when we did the retro things, Dan Runty brought a different body back for each jamboree. There's Charlie's Angels and the Stripes and the Flames and all of these retro bodies. But this is the one that I fell in love with because it was from my childhood. And thankfully I was very honored when they said, hey, we're gonna put that body on your truck and you're gonna race at first quarter. And that was, I think my second or third full year uh, in the Monster National Series. And thankfully I walked away with a racing title out of that. And that was my first true championship. So it's an honor to race this truck. It's an honor to be able to race this paint scheme. So seeing this come to life was uh, quite an honor. And seeing the little one is absolutely out of this world. So, you know, one of the things that's a little bit different about your paint scheme on the big truck here is they went with the double stripes up the hood and then you got the big one over the cab, which is, you know, a little different than the original, but we went ahead here and replicated that on the RC. You know, I know that was uh, something for us, you know, we had to cut and fit and make sure that, you know, we get the, the stripes on the hood just right and then the, the big one over the, over the top. Were you around when they were kind of laying out this body and kind of some of the ideas that went on with kind of creating the style? I was part of it. Um, at that point, I was racing pretty hard um, during the racing season. So I only saw the end of it, mm -hmm. but we had to um, lay out this paint scheme for Bigfoot 8. And 
I got a part of that. And trying to make the stripes look right and transition from little to big is a huge challenge because nothing is really symmetrical on these bodies and trying to make everything look right means not everything is straight on these. So it definitely is a challenge to make everything look right, but you guys nailed it 100%. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things about the racer stripe scheme is, um, you know, I've been following on Facebook, of course, you guys are working on Bigfoot 8, which is the original one that had the racer stripe scheme. And it's been a long process getting this painted. I mean, this has been a big process uh, watching online. And you can see that this thing uh, that they're showing online, this is a really nice paint job. This is detailed to the max. Yeah. Unlike a lot of our race bodies where, you know what, we're going to crash this body. Yeah. We know it going in. Yeah. Bigfoot 8 body, mm -hmm. we're not going to crash that, hopefully. Um, never saying never, but that one was detailed out. The chrome around the headlights. I mean, the... The details that our painter, Mike Bestie, is putting in is absolutely insane. That is an absolutely beautiful body, and I do not want to be the first one to put it in that one. You scratch it going in and out of the trailer or something stupid, it's going to be an interesting conversation come Monday morning. So talk about a little bit about the, the events you've done this year. You know, we're kind of getting back into some action now. You're getting out on the road every, once a week. Every other week you're getting to do a show now, which, you know, last year you didn't do very many. What's it been like getting out back on the on the track, so to speak, and getting to, to drive the truck again? It's been actually a little bit rough. Yeah. Um, we went all last year. We got back from Europe, both me and my wife, and the world shut down. Everyone's world basically come to a screeching halt. Um, when we started rolling again this year, I did probably a half a dozen events uh, last fall whether it be car crushes or races or whatever. So my skill set didn't really diminish, but you find yourself when you get into some of these really big tracks, you got some sore muscles. Yeah. You're okay. relearning your timing. You're doing a lot of these things that if you do it every week, it's second nature. But you almost have to teach yourself to drive again in some respects. So it's been an interesting process, but not seeing the fans not being on the road it reminded me of why i do this yeah. and kind of refresh that passion of, i want to go out and do this and unfortunately my wife is just as bad or worse than i am she's itching to get back in a truck and we're hoping that uh, when everything comes back from boston that she jumps back in a truck and starts driving again so it's a uh, it's a little tense at the home base when I get to go out and go play and she doesn't so it's an interesting concept being married to a monster truck driver all right Darren well we thanks so much uh, we really appreciate the uh, nice thoughts on the uh, RC version here we're able to create and uh, we appreciate you being here this weekend and uh, thanks uh, again for everybody for watching and uh, Bigfoot 4x4 of course for their support and uh, allowing us to talk to Darren here today about the new J concept